Hello, I'm Red Eyes, and today I'd like to demonstrate the concept of using damage to separate your drops from the tall mobs. I guess you could use it to separate it from the other mobs as well. But as you can see, um, and now the Endermen have a lot more health, and the Zombies also have a bit more health, and we can use this to our advantage to separate their drops. Um, he didn't drop an Ender Pearl there. But as you can see, here I have my drops from the creepers and skeletons. And here I have my drops from the zombies. So, yeah, what's happened is the zombies have a bit more health. I'm not entirely sure how much. I'm not sure if it's if they're up to 11 or 12 hearts from 10. Um, but the endermen seem to be up to around 20. And yeah, we can use this to separate the mobs. Here they're going through a series of crushers. This was an idea given to me by a guy called Fred MF. Um, so thanks for that. Uh, yeah, so that's it really. What's happening in this particular system, uh, which as you can see is a minecart system, just because that's what I happen to be working on. Um, but what's happening is they're getting picked up under these simple mob traps. Um, this is not perfect by any means. Uh, but it does work enough, so they get picked up, and they go through these mob softeners, and each lava deals two damage, the water is there to extinguish them, uh, you can see the lava is too high, and that's to also damage the, the endermen, so they come out of here with eight hearts less life, and they make their way up, you can see they then hit these two blocks, and these two blocks, I think they deal half a heart damage each, but it might be slightly inconsistent. Um, and you can see the Endermen are tall enough that they don't take damage if the blocks are only too high. So that's something to remember as well. Um, but yeah, they continue down, they get crushed, and that deals um, one heart damage, the Crusher, I think. Possibly one and a half, I'm not too sure. I mean, you have to mess around and kind of tweak uh, to get the damage just right in whatever system you're doing. Um, but to account for the kind of slight differences, like I know they're taking damage when they fall in the mob trap, when they fall down to get picked up. Uh, so they could be arriving here with half a heart or one heart life. So to account for that, I just have two detector rails and that keeps these pistons crushing for longer instead of just kind of quickly going in and out and that deals a bit more damage because the suffocation is not how many times you hit a block it's how long you spend under so if the blocks are too close together like you can see they're kind of spaced out uh, quite far here if I had one just two blocks away it would be really inconsistent anyways so to deal with that, I have these uh, just a longer pulse. You could use a pulse lengthener as well. These delays are the time uh, it takes the cart to fall down. Uh, the signal is then sent up to these crushers, which triggers these two top pistons and this one here. So the bottom, well, you don't need the one at the bottom really. You only need this one and this one, and that will crush the heads of the uh, creepers, zombies, skeletons, and this will crush the heads of the endermen. And the bottom two pistons are there to push the cart out. Now you can see it's closed when the cart falls, and that's actually quite important because the carts are dropping three down, and if they were to drop four down, they would start to accumulate um, damage. So to prevent that, uh, you want them to only ever drop three down. And for some reason in the... Um, oh yeah, in this... What's it called? <laughs> Pez dispenser. It doesn't seem to accumulate the damage. For some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just been fixed. But just to be safe, I only drop the cards three. And yeah, so they're dropped onto these pistons. Uh, one retracts slightly before the other one, that's what this delay is for, and it has the effect of pushing the cart out and across. And the cart is held up by a ladder, 
and this allows the items to fall down while at the same time holding the minecart up. And that's really all there is to it for this crusher, but it could be set up in different ways for sure. So this extra crusher is just redundant, nothing has actually come through here. However, I have on occasion had zombies dying here. So there is some inconsistency happening somewhere with the damage, but it seems to be working about 95% of the time, so pretty good. Um, I definitely have not had any creeper or skeleton drops here, uh, and I have not had any tall mob drops here, uh, but they wouldn't make it through these crushers, uh, through these mob softeners anyways. So, you know, it might be a good idea to add extra redundant crushers just to kind of kill off any mobs that might make it through just on some freak chance or something. So there you have it, damage-based item separation. Uh, I wish I was getting more endermen through, so I'll just leave you with some clips. And yeah, I'll put the world up for download, the link will be in the video. So, um, enjoy! Oh yeah, and if you're going to download the world, basically in this PEZ you want there to be about 15 carts. And when you're done with the world, you want to turn it off. And to do that, you flick this switch, that will stop this kind of uh, minecart timer from going round and round. Oh no, it will stop the signal from getting through. And you want to turn it off because there's a lot of repeaters in all these crushers and they will bug out and uh, yeah, everything will just kind of clog if you uh, open and shut the world at the wrong time. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.